Good morning, happy Tuesday. I'm starting out my morning like I do every morning and that's with a glass of cold iced green tea. I've just been enjoying this kind of like a natural kind of caffeinated drink in the mornings. It's just been um, really nice to start my day off like this. For snacks today, I am bringing with me to work an Oikos yogurt, an apple, some veggies with one tablespoon of this hummus um, from Fred Meyer, and then a bag of Skinny Pop popcorn. And as usual, I'm going to have my protein coffee here this morning. This morning, I'm going to have the Premier Protein Cafe Latte with um, two scoops of the collagen, which is a serving. I'm also going to use this Fit Biotic Probiotic. This is the powder. I saw this over on Jen's channel at Jen's WW Journey. Check out her channel. But she told she shared this on her channel, and so I picked it up off of Amazon. Um, yeah. I think it'll be really good. So I'm having that in the morning and with my coffee. So this is my protein collagen probiotic coffee. For breakfast today, I'm going to have a breakfast sandwich. I did meal prep this. I will have it linked above and below. Uh, for lunch today, I'm going to do some chicken salad that I also made in meal prep. I'm going to have it on this whole wheat bun with a banana and I have some, some pickles. I'm just going to take this to work because I was not very hungry at lunchtime. So I'm just going to pack this up and take it to work with me. Hey guys, happy Tuesday. I did not film yesterday because I was so sick. Um, Sunday, actually Saturday night about two o'clock in the morning, so I guess Sunday morning, two o'clock in the morning, I woke up with the most terrible cramping and it wasn't that time of the month cramping and I had such the worst stomach bug Sunday and Monday and it just came on just suddenly like it was crazy so I didn't work yesterday I took the day off I was gonna work from home and I did a little bit of like emailing but I honestly like if I got up and out of bed and walked around at all I was so queasy it was oh, it was terrible y'all it was so bad so feeling much better today it got I got rid of it as fast as it came on it was super weird anyway so that's why I did not film yesterday I also did not film anything this weekend I had planned on filming like three videos on Sunday did not get that done because I was so sick and I barely got to the store to get my like there was no one home my husband um, I was already asleep um, when I got up and I'd go pick up my grocery I didn't want to get him up and have to get him dressed and then my husband I mean my um, the kids weren't there and so so I had to go pick up groceries, barely made it back in time. It was terrible, you guys. So that was all I did. And then I started feeling a, like in the, like about early afternoon on Sunday, I was feeling a little bit better. And I thought, okay, well, it was just a one-time thing. So I did my meal prep and then, oh my goodness, it started hitting again, like towards the end of my meal prep. And so I hurried up and finished my meal prep and then laid down for the rest of the day on Sunday. It was so bad. Um, but everything's going really well. I wanted to show you guys some things. So when I did WW before, let me turn off my heater. When I did WW before, I did it uh, completely online. And one of the things that I did not get to do by going in was getting the charms that you get for your milestones. So I restarted WW, as you guys know, I totally restarted it this time, restarted my weight and everything because I didn't want to see that negative weight, you know, the pluses on there from, because when I did WW before, I'd gotten down a lot lower than I am now. And, um, but I'm still down like over 50 pounds from when I first started, but I did gain back. I was up to, I was like, I gained back like 30 pounds since I quit WW. And then over the last two years, it's just been back and forth, up and down. So anyways, I restarted. Well, I got a surprise in the mail. I got a little charm. I didn't know they were doing these for people who, um, cause I'm doing the online one only right now, like the WW 360, whatever that is. And I got a little five pound milestone charm. So like I said, I mean, I'm down more than that since I started WW, but I didn't get these before. And since I'm restarting fresh new journey, I was excited to get this. So I didn't know that these were something that you were getting um, even doing the online thing. I had, I did not expect it at all. Um, my friend Connie, um, Connie was Sean, who she has a YouTube channel. So check out her channel. She's wonderful. She had told me she had gotten one, completely forgot about it until I got mine in the mail. And then I was like, oh yeah, she showed that to me too. So very exciting. Sorry, it's lunchtime. I have to get back to work. I have a meeting. Um, we had snow yesterday. What the, what the heck? Um, it, it was snowing so hard. It stuck for a little bit, then it warmed up and it just rained. So now it's, it's kind of chunky snow right now. I'm just kind of like, it's raining, but it's like really chunky rain. Not chunky snow, it's chunky rain crazy you guys april 12th 
and it's snowing. It is so crazy. I know Washington got some as well. Um, oh, what a mess. Anywho, I so have. I'm sorry. I'm so behind in like my regular monthly videos. So I have my book review video, which is so way behind, and I don't. I think I'm gonna go ahead and film it anyway. I'm gonna think I'll film it either when I get off work tonight or film it um, in the morning. Because even though it's kind of late, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it because I don't want to get too behind and have too many books to review in one video. This one already has six of them. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'll just have a pretty good back to back. Like, well, we'll see how many I end up reading in April anyway. Um, so I have that to do and then I have a stitch fix, which I actually have two stitch fixes. It was one I filmed a while back, just never got around to editing it. And then I have another one I have to do because it's due back on Friday. So I, I did an extension because I got it on Saturday and I planned on doing it Sunday, then was sick. So I got an extension. So I'm going to go ahead and either film that when I get off work or film it in the morning as well. And then hopefully get that up. And then another thing I told you guys I was going to start a while back were favorites videos again. I've had a ton of people ask me about doing favorites videos again. So I planned on doing that in March. You know, the month just got away from me. So I need to get my, I'm always talking about organization and organizing my time and I'm great with my morning routine, evening routine, my meal prepping, but organizing my content creating is, I need to get a handle on it. I really need to get a handle on it. So I um, am doing that and then I have a big project that I'm kind of working on that will eventually be coming out to you guys, but that's not gonna be for months, but I need to organize that as well. So, <sighs> Just so busy, so busy. So, anywho, um, hopefully you'll see a stitch fix in a book review video, which I know those are not for everybody, but for those of you that look forward to them, those will be coming soon. I will do an April favorites video and get those rolling out again. Um, so, anywho, okay, I gotta get back to work. So, I hope you guys are all doing well, and I'll see you guys at my next meal. Hey guys, it's the end of my work day. I wanted to give you a little update on everything I've showed you today that, I'm, that I had planned on eating, but I probably am not going to. Well, I know I'm not gonna have some of it because I left it in my fridge here. So I'm still trying to take it a little easy on my stomach because I really didn't eat much at all yesterday. So I'm just trying to keep things <laughs> very simple. So I had my coffee this morning. I had my breakfast sandwich. That's all I ate this morning. And then at lunchtime, you saw I had the banana, the pickles, and then the chicken sandwich, which was so good. That chicken salad turned out so good, y'all. It was, I used the leftover, if you didn't see my meal prep, check out my meal prep. I'll try to remember to link it up here. Um, I used, I had some leftover dip that I made from plain non-fat Greek yogurt and the Nor vegetable dip mix. So I had some of that leftover. So I used that as like my mayo. So good. So I, I'm gonna have to do that from now on. Like I may just use some of that dip mix from now on and make my chicken salad like that every time because it is so good. Um, and then I also added in mustard and pepper and some pickle relish, onions. So good. So I had that for lunch with that whole wheat roll and then had the banana and the pickles. That's it. I am actually feeling really full and I think it's just because like I said, I did not eat much the last couple days. So I have my veggies and dip that I did not eat. I have, or my veggies and hummus I didn't eat. My yogurt I didn't eat. Um, my apple I did not eat. I have drank a ton of water though today. Um, so I am gonna make dinner though. I'm gonna do that skinny um, cheeseburger pasta only just because I wanted to have it for leftovers this week for lunches as well. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and make that tonight even if I don't end up eating any. Um, I'm just gonna play it by ear, listen to my body, um, but my son will eat some. But I wanted to have it for um, have it for leftovers for lunch or for dinner like if I don't feel like making dinner or something another day this week so I'm gonna make that and I need to use up the ground beef because it's in my refrigerator so that for sure I'll be showing that to you right after this clip you'll see the clip of me making dinner and I'll show you how I'm gonna put that together and how I'm ad adding extra veggies to it to kind of plump up the veggies get those extra veggie points and just add more nutrients to the recipe um, so I'll show you that next but my day may be a little light on calories and a little light on points just because I'm like I said I'm just coming off of that illness and I almost want to play it by ear so I just want to give you a little update on that and the sun is out it's 52 no more snow hopefully we'll see what happens um, so anyway I'm gonna get home and make some dinner and I will talk with you guys like I said the next clip will be dinner so you'll see that next 
For dinner tonight, I'm going to make a one pot skinny pasta. So we have some lean ground beef, the 964, some vegetable broth, this bonza pasta, which I've never tried before. And I'll tell you, I really like it. Garlic powder, smoked paprika, some fat free cheese, some onions. And then also I'm going to add cauliflower and zucchini to this as well. So, and then also a can of diced tomatoes. So first thing we want to do, of course, is brown up our hamburger. So I'm going to go ahead and brown that up. I am going to add the smoked paprika and the garlic powder to that. And then also some salt and pepper to that as well. I'm just going to brown it up, for, you know, mostly. And then I'm going to add in the cauliflower, which is about a half of a head of cauliflower and a full zucchini and a full can of the diced tomatoes undrained. And then after you mix all it up, we're going to add in the whole box of pasta. This is an eight ounce box of pasta and then three cups of the vegetable broth. You can use chicken stock. You can use whatever you'd like. Bring it to a boil and then we're going to let that simmer for about 10 minutes. It really is just until you cook the pasta. So whatever the pasta box says. And then we're going to add in a cup of the fat free cheese, some green onions. And this is the final product, you guys. It was absolutely amazing. I'm also going to have today's totals here on the screen with calories, protein, and uh, WW points. So for breakfast, I have two of the mini quiches, and I have the Chobani strawberry shortcake or strawberry cheesecake zero sugar yogurt. I have not tried this yet. Um, and for snack, I am just going to bring this because I have a yogurt at work, and I have my vegetables and hummus at work as well, and an apple. So all the snacks from yesterday. The only thing I ate yesterday was the popcorn. mention if you want to know how to make these quiches check out my meal prep video which I will have a link down below and I'll try to link it in the cards as well throughout this video because um, I do show you how I make those. As usual getting my protein coffee together today I'm going to have one of the salted caramel fair life protein drinks also my probiotic and my collagen this time I'm mixing it up in my coffee mix it up a little bit better I have a ton of protein drinks so I'm just trying to get through all of them and I'm going to have an apple for a snack and it is lunchtime, so I'm having the same thing as yesterday, only this time I'm putting some avocado on top. I definitely should have done that yesterday because this was absolutely amazing. This was such a great lunch this week. For dinner, I'm having a buffalo chicken salad. So I have this um, Bolt House Ranch. I have a romaine lettuce. I have some chicken that I put the buffalo, Frank's like buffalo sauce on there, some avocado and some carrots. Good morning, guys. Happy Thursday. Today is a work from home day, uh, so I am excited for that. I like my in-office days because I just, I love the energy of being in the office, but I really enjoy my two days from home um, as well. So um, that's really nice. It'll be really nice when I can have an office. I keep saying that um, it, it'll happen this summer, so it'll be kind of a fun summer project, even though I work all summer, but um, I have three-day weekends in July, so I'm hoping that that's when I can spend a lot of time um, figuring out how I wanna set the office up and, and all of that. So that's gonna be a fun little project. Save money for <laughs> the things I wanna buy because I wanna get a different desk. I actually have a few things saved on Amazon. I've been doing that. I wanna do like an L-shaped desk. So I have um, a area for my work, you know, for my real job. <laughs> and then an area when I'm working on YouTube stuff and editing and things like that. Right now I just have a lap desk that I just carry around with me. My goodness, hello. Hello, hey, you're interrupting my video. Um, I just have a lap desk that I carry around with me wherever I need to like do my editing like if I do need to do voiceovers I have to bring it in here So it'll be nice to have an actual dedicated space and so I wanted to have one of those big L desks to be able to um, Have one section I just put my YouTube laptop on and my microphone and things like that And then I have the other side of the desk to actually do my work um, So I think I'm hoping I have it measured out. I think it'll be just fine um so I'm really excited to do all that. And then I'm gonna put, because you know, he works with me <laughs> when I work from home days, he likes to lay here in the bed. And so I was telling my husband, I'm like, well, he's not gonna like not having anywhere to sit in there. So I think I'm gonna get a futon couch because also it can, you know, it lays down into a bed and then we can use it, you know, like at Thanksgiving when we host everybody and people are usually just on couches and air mattresses and if one of the kids are gone, they're in their bedroom. So um, I'm gonna have like, a, I have a futon couch in there then I can open up and then um, there's somebody can sleep on there. So um, 
Anyway, I figured that would be, you know, a good thing. And then I can set it up like a couch and then he can lay in there. <laughs> he won't lay on a dog bed. I mean, I, I'm going to get, I'm going to get him a dog bed and put in there too, just in case he will. But in the past, my Chihuahua, he'll lay in a dog bed, but my Yorkie, he likes to, um, be like people. <laughs> so, um, but he may in there, if I put the dog bed, like by my desk, he may lay down in there. So those are the two main things right now, um, that I want to get set up. I already have one piece of furniture I'm going to put in there. Um, when we got our new TV, um, that was our, me and my husband's Christmas present to us was a big screen TV. I had to get a different TV stand. So, um, I have the old TV stand, which has like, um, what do you call it? Like baskets and stuff on it. So, um, I were right now I put like my candles and the dog stuff and then, um, just some other like household things so it'll be fine in there so I'm gonna put that in there um, because eventually I'd like to get a printer and everything too so that would be a good like printer stand so that'll be in there and we have an extra TV also so I don't know if I'll put the TV in there or if when we have the other bedroom is emptied out I'll put the TV in like the spare bedroom I don't know lots of things lots of things I'm thinking I know I'm kind of going off on a tangent um, drinking my green tea this morning I think I'm gonna have my um, since I'm working from home today, I'm going to have my protein coffee in the afternoon. It's a nice little pick-me-up. So I'm going to have that. So I'm just going to make a regular cup of coffee here in a little bit. But right now, just drinking some green tea. Did I tell you guys I did my weigh-in this morning? I'm super excited about it. Can I wait to share that with you on a Saturday? I'm trying to think of my topic right now, what I'm going to talk about. In the video, I think I kind of have an idea on what I'd like to talk about. So stay tuned on that for Saturday. You're seeing this video on Friday. And then... I have grocery haul meal prep i already kind of know my meals for my meal prep my goodness look at you look at you you're a mess i kind of have my ideas what i'm going to do for meal prep this week um just things that i've been like craving like these sudden cravings keep happening and um i'm like oh that sounds good oh that i want that so i have like a uh, three things right now that i'm thinking of but right now i'm gonna go make some breakfast i think i'm gonna do a strawberry oikos yogurt and some of that strawberry I think it's strawberry shortcake granola, the one from, is it Safe Fair, Fair Safe, Safe Trade? I don't remember. <laughs> the kind that I found over at Grocery Outlet. So I'm going to have some of that in my Oikos yogurt and then probably have a banana. And I, so I'll go get that ready and show that to you. For breakfast today, I'm having the Safe and Fair Strawberry Shortcake Granola. I'm having that with a triple zero Oikos Strawberry Yogurt and then also a banana. I am loving this yogurt, you guys. I mean, this yogurt and this granola, it is so good. For lunch today, I'm having one of the meal preps I made, which is a sheet pan fajita with some fat-free black refried beans. Um, so this is just chicken and veggies. And then I have some fat-free sour cream, some salsa, and then I also have uh, one of the street tacos. Having an afternoon protein coffee, same with the collagen, probiotic, and all that stuff as usual. Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick check-in. Lunch just got over, but I wanted to tell you guys how much I am absolutely loving. Sorry, I'm trying to get adjusted here. I was going to put you on know, my tripod, but I need to hurry because I have a meeting here soon. I am really loving this. So I had mixed feelings about it in the beginning, like, because it's kind of chewy. It was really hard for me to get used to. I'm used to like really crunchy granola, but I'm getting so used to that. And it is so, so good. Sometimes if I put like, when I have plain non-fat Greek yogurt, I will put some of it there, some of it on there ahead of time and let it kind of soak in. And then it's really, really good because I got soaks into the yogurt and the strawberries kind of like blend in with the yogurt. So good. It is so good. Um, so I think I'm gonna make a trip to grocery alley. That's where I got this. Make a trip to grocery outlet and pick up maybe the key lime and the birthday cake. Yeah, because I am really loving it. Um, I know I've been getting, like I said it earlier, I think I said it earlier in this video, that I've been getting a ton of requests to do favorites because people want to know, like want to be able to find like all my favorite things like in one video versus having to go through all my what I eat videos or when I have in the title, you know, review or something like that. Or sometimes I forget to put it in the title. So I've been getting a lot of requests for that. So definitely will be doing an April one and hopefully I can stay on top of it every month. But if anything, I'll try to do one like every other month if I don't feel like I have something to share with you each month. 
Um, so anyway, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to tell you that I am loving that. Um, I had that for breakfast this morning and it was just so good. Um, it is five points for, so I think on the screen it would have said two points because I'm pretty sure I used, I did two points for, so I did an eighth of a cup in those little small things of yogurt. I do an eighth of a cup, but in when I do like three quarters of a cup of like, um, plain non-fat Greek yogurt, sometimes I'll use the entire third cup, which again, I think is five points, but, um, it's because it's a bigger serving of yogurt. It is just really good. And you guys, I have been doing so good hitting my protein goal. Um, I'm going to be talking more about protein and why it's so important in Saturday's, um, weigh in video. I decided that's going to be my topic for this week. I'm going to talk about why I talk about protein all the time and why I feel like it's really important and why it's important for me because of what it's helping me with, um, everything. So, but yeah, I've been doing really good without even really like trying. And so I just want to touch on that because, um, I do hit it. So a lot of people, I hear a lot of people ask me how I'm hitting my protein goal when they have so much trouble doing it. So I'm going to give you some little tips and tricks and stuff on Saturday and Saturday's video. I'm going to show you how I make my Southwest dressing. So I need three quarters of a cup of the um, Bolt House Ranch, two tablespoons of lime juice, and then a teaspoon each of paprika, onion powder, and cumin, and then half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And this is my finished salad. So I have romaine lettuce. I have an eighth of a cup of corn, an eighth of a cup of black beans. I have three tablespoons of tortilla strips. I have some of the blackened Tyson strips and then some of my homemade dressing on top. And then I have Friday's totals here on the screen. So thank you guys so much for joining me for another What I Ate This Week on WW. And I will see you guys tomorrow for weigh-in. And then we also have grocery haul and meal prep also to round out the rest of the week. And I think I have a bonus video for you next week. And I'll see you guys then. Bye guys.